Good morning and happy Friday. We're tracking that cold front that's been bringing rain throughout the northeast, finally making its way out, affecting Maine with heavy rains this morning, but behind it, just some clouds and scattered light showers behind it. And off to the west, we're looking at some shower action moving into the Pacific Northwest. Behind me, though, take a look at this out into the Atlantic Ocean, Hurricane Gonzalo. Let's take a closer look here. Category 4 storm, first one we've seen since 2011. It was 140 mile an hour sustained winds yesterday, weakened just slightly, 130 mile an hour sustained winds. It's 240 miles south southwest of Bermuda. You can see Bermuda right about there, and it's going to track just to the left of Bermuda, putting Bermuda in the right quadrant as it passes by, which is normally the worst section of the hurricane. So some of the major impacts from Hurricane Gonzalo are going to be winds and storm surge and the heavy rains associated with this as it moves on through. It's moving north northeast at 15 miles an hour. We're going to track, like I said, just to the left of Bermuda and then up and out to sea. And that's going to keep it away from the United States mainland. Thanks to that cold front, like I just mentioned, that's been affecting the northeast, helping keep it out to sea and not affect any parts of the United States. Temperatures elsewhere across the nation, we're looking at 53 in Chicago, 59 in Memphis, Texas, Corpus Christi, 63 this morning, Denver, chilly 40 degrees, 38 in Billings, a little warmer out in Los Angeles, 62 degrees this Friday morning. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Good morning and happy Friday. Student meteorologist Ryan Bell is here with your Campus Weather Service web forecast for today, Friday, October 17th. Our weather headlines, what we're tracking for you, we're looking at, well, unfortunately, one last warm day. Make sure you grab out the jackets and sweatshirts over the next few days because chilly conditions are going to be making their return. And not just chilly, but they're going to be more average-like temperatures as well. This weekend is the first Penn State Thon Canning Weekend. And if any Penn State students are headed out, looks like a pretty decent weekend for it. But the best day, though, if you're headed out throughout the Commonwealth, appears to be Sunday. Tomorrow, we run the risk for some scattered showers, otherwise mostly cloudy skies. And then Sunday, we see a mix of sun and clouds. Slightly cooler, though, but I think Sunday will be, turn out to be the better day of the two. We'll have our full seven-day coming right up. Live look over the Penn State campus this morning. You can see the sunrise in the background. Beautiful shot to start off the Friday morning. 54 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds. Winds out of the southwest, 7 miles an hour. Temperatures elsewhere across the Commonwealth. 52 in Williamsport, 53 in Harrisburg, 51 in Johnstown, and 52 in Franklin. So all throughout the Commonwealth, we're sitting in the lower 50s to start off this Friday morning. Wider view of the temperatures throughout the northeast. Boston, 59, Saranac Lake, 51, Scranton, 55, out in Columbus, 53 degrees this Friday morning. Radar and satellite across the northeast, you can see, like I mentioned, cold front making its way finally out, bringing some rain to Maine this morning, but behind it, just some clouds and some scattered light showers and some sprinkles throughout parts of the Commonwealth. Low pressure system that's associated with that cold front still parked off to our north wider view of our radar and satellite and you can see Hurricane Gonzalo just to the south southwest of Bermuda Bermuda right about there going to track just to the left of Bermuda and then up and out to sea thanks to that cold front keeping away from the US mainland our eye in the future forecast back here at home taking a look at it over the next few days throughout tonight we're going to see clouds be on the increase before the chance for some light showers moves in tomorrow morning stopping the time clock 8 o'clock in the morning Mostly cloudy skies are going to be the story tomorrow with some scattered showers throughout the Commonwealth. And then we'll clear it out Sunday night and going in, or Saturday night that is, and going into your Sunday morning. Sunday we look for mostly sunny skies by the afternoon hours. But I stopped the time clock Sunday morning, 8 o'clock. Take a look at this. Just north of Binghamton and Elmira, New York. Look at this. We're picking up on some snow action on our Eye in the Future forecast. Nothing major, but we can't rule out some snow flurries up to northern portions of our viewing area and then even down into the Laurel Highlands can't rule out some snowflakes in the forecast this weekend as you can see some cloudy skies and some light precipitation is possible nothing measurable though but it is that time of the year where we have to start thinking about snowfall 
And then going into the start of your Monday, clouds start to be on the increase. Monday looks to be a mostly cloudy day before some rain moves back into the forecast on Tuesday. For today, though, your Friday, cloudy is started off, but we're going to see a mix of sun and clouds by the afternoon hours. High temperatures in the mid-60s. Winds are going to be light today out of the southwest, 5 to 10, but that's going to pick up over the next few days. Going into tonight, mostly cloudy skies. Can't rule out a scattered shower. Lows right around 50. And then for tomorrow, your Saturday, mostly cloudy, scattered showers, and windy. Take a look at this. Winds out of the west, 10 to 15, gusting upwards of 20, even 25 miles an hour. Temperature is going to top out right around 57 degrees. Your seven-day forecast, mapping it out for you. Mix the sun and clouds today before skies turn mostly cloudy tomorrow. Cooler, though, look at that, 51 on Sunday with a mix of sun and clouds. Clouds move back in on Monday, and then we see some showers with temperatures in the lower 50s on Tuesday. And those temperatures stay in the lower 50s throughout the better part of next week. But it looks like we dried out after Tuesday with just a mix of sun and clouds for Wednesday and Thursday. That's all from the Campus Weather Service. We'd like to thank you for tuning in. For the most up-to-date forecast, check out our website, campusweatherservice.com. Have a great weekend.